Husby, H-U-S-S-E-Y. Okay. What can you tell us uh, about your client? Well, I've only had a brief opportunity to speak with him this morning. Obviously, I've learned that he's been suffering from a serious mental illness for a good long time. Uh, he appears to have been um, experiencing delusions and hallucinations uh, most recently. And they said he'd been off his medication for seven months? That's what we're looking into. There seems to be some evidence of that. Obviously, it's a very tragic situation when, when this kind of thing happens. Uh, and I, I know he's very upset and confused and, uh, and very sick. What do you want to say to them and the family? Well, I had an opportunity to speak with his father today, and I think uh, I explained to his father that, you know, uh, what's going to happen to him. Uh, there's not much you can say in these situations when you're not a member or a close friend of a, a family like this. I know that they're experiencing a lot of pain, and, and I think most of us can understand why. Do you know what Do kind of relationship he had with his mother? I don't at this time. We haven't had any lengthy discussions about that. Do you think that if he had been on his med medication, it would have made a difference in this case? I couldn't speculate at this point in time. Sometimes that's the case. Sometimes that's not the case. Uh, given, you know, he could have reacted this way with on or off medication, I think. And is he back on medication now? No. Does he have a sense of exactly what happened? Could you gather that from him? I think he has a sense of what happened, yes. Um, I, uh, why it happened and, and whether he's criminally responsible for that, given his serious mental illness, whether he could appreciate what he was doing was wrong, uh, that is quite in question at this point in time. Is he remorseful, sad? Yes. What has he? What has he said to that offense? I, I, I'd rather not go into the details of our conversations about that. Um, I think it's fair to say that he's sad and confused and, and can't make sense of his actions any more than anybody else can. I think. Did he give you a sense of what sparked this? I'd rather not go into any of that. We really haven't had a long enough conversation for me to understand. That. Okay. Does he remember everything that happened? I can't comment. On that. Cool. Thank you. What about his, his level of comprehension? You alluded to this a little bit, but in terms of the legal process, does, does he understand what's happening here and what's going to happen? You know, he, I think he has the, the intelligence to understand the legal process at this point in time. But, you know, being able to work effectively with your attorney in a case like this requires uh, a better sense, a better being in a better place mentally, and I don't think that he's there yet. Thank you very much. Thank you so okay. much for yep. stopping.